What's up guys, it's Sab again. All right, so a while back, a few months ago, Gorilla Bow, the company, reached out to me and asked me to try out their travel-sized Gorilla Bow, and it was literally the perfect timing because I was actually going on an RV trip, which I have been posting a bunch of videos from that as well on YouTube if you want to check that out. But I thought I would give y'all a full and honest review after using the Gorilla Bow on the road for two and a half weeks. Before we get into this, if you wouldn't mind giving me that thumbs up and the subscribe below, it would mean the world to me. That way you don't miss another video and to support me. Thank you. So first, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of this Gorilla Bow. They come in different types. So this one's a travel one. It breaks down and it's lightweight. And then there are other ones that they have as well. Um, but this is the size of the kit that the travel one comes in. So I got the most bands that you probably possibly could in a package. Here's what it comes like. This one's not put away correctly. It has these two cases for your bands. Cute. Okay. And they have bands of all different weights. So the weight on the band, and it says it printed right here. So this one's 60 pounds. Um, so the weight is gonna be printed there for all the bands. They wear off pretty quickly with use, so you kind of have to remember what's what. We go all the way up to the 90 pounds, which is very short, very thick, very high resistance. All right, so these are all my heavier bands right here. And I keep all the really heavy ones in one container that's 60 pounds and up. And then these ones are the lighter weight ones. All right. So this is 50 and below. The blue ones are the 50 pounds. And I have three of them for some reason. Not that I'm complaining, 50s are actually great. 30. I don't know that I even have a 40. I think it's just 50, 30, 20. And then last but not least, the 10. So I have 110, 120, 133, 50s. And for the heavier ones, I got two 60s, um, 180, and two 90s. I don't know. I feel like some of these numbers are really random. I don't know how they decided how much of which weight. Anyway, you get a little like barbell pad type thing. This one's the bigger one. It's pretty thin, I'm not gonna lie to you, and I've never once felt the need to use it, but I also don't really use barbell pads for anything except for hip thrusts. We got a smaller barbell pad, which I haven't even opened out of the plastic still. And then, <laughs> I also haven't opened this. Oh, this is a strap for the bag. So it's an extra longer strap so that you can throw it over your shoulder instead of carrying it by the handles. Love that, versatility. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk about the actual bar itself and we're gonna put it together real quick. Um, when I was looking at it, I thought that the bar was gonna be like a hard plastic, but I was pleasantly surprised because it's actually like a metal. It breaks down into three different parts that Velcro safely into the bag for you. All right, so, and then this is what the end looks like. It's like kind of like a claw. Toss the bag. All right, so here are the three different pieces. And they're literally like, like hard steel, like metal, I think. It's steel, metal, whatever. I can clasp them together. Look at that. Okay, off track. They go together with this little clasp right here. So you push in this button and then it'll fit into this hole that's right here. All right. So you push it in like so and then it clicks into place like that. It does scratch pretty easily. I've only used this a couple of times and you can see all of the scratches that are on it from those like, I think I used it like 
three times. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. It scratches really easily. But this is the thing. We love it. It literally looks like a bow. Here, wait, let me get you a different angle. Okay, yeah. It literally looks like a bow, like a bow and arrow. I suppose that's why they call it the gorilla bow. <laughs> um, but so that's what we're looking at. That's the full set. I don't think that the heavy resistance bands are really too necessary and you'll see why. I thought it was going to be much more versatile than it was. Um, I thought I was going to be doing like back squats with it, with it like here, but because it's using resistance bands and you have to stand on them, it was very hard <laughs> to get it over my head without snapping the band on my neck, if that makes any sense. I think that you'll see what I mean when we go outside. So, you know, let's just do it so you can see firsthand. Right, so we got all of our crap out here. <laughs> have the little knobs right here. All right, and then you take the bow and you put it into this little space so that the knob is on the inside of it. And then you drag it. The other side, over here. And you do it like that. So this one was the 50 pound one and as you do the heavier weights it gets like really hard to put on. So I'll show you how difficult it is for me to put on like the 80 pound one because I literally cannot get it on. <laughs> this is why I don't really recommend getting the bundle that I have because I don't think that it's, it's like necessary to have the heavier weights. <laughs> you have to like get it over this thing. Okay, there we go. So that's the 50 and the 80 pound. And I was hoping that when I got it, I'd be able to do like back squats with a bunch of weight like this. But to get it over your head, <laughs> you can't. go. I feel like I'm going to break it. I won't, but I feel like I am. So it's really difficult to get onto your back to do heavy weights and it's really difficult to get back off again. <laughs> so that's that. And <laughs> when I was on vacation, I was wearing sandals, so it's kind of my fault but when I was trying to put it over my head like that, the bands just like slipped off like that and snapped my neck and it hurt a lot. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with here with the back things. It's not a complete bust. Like there are a lot of movement, movements that you can do with it. And Gorilla Bow also has a website where they show you a bunch of different movements that you can do. You can do like front squats with it. Hey, <laughs> You can do a squat to overhead press. You can do curls. You can do bent over ribs. You can do lunges if you have it on the front. I was doing a test 
press with it too. You put it along your back like that. And press. And you could also do push-ups with it on the ground. You can do the bow movement like that. It's kind of like a row. You do RDLs. Do overhead tricep extensions. And then, I know Gorilla Bow has a bunch of ab exercises you can do with added resistance. I usually don't really do ab exercises with resistance that often. Uh, I just like to use body weight for that, but you can do that as well. So, really the only problem I have with it is the really high resistance bands I can't get on. <laughs> and then I can't get it over my head onto my back unless I have this light of resistance like this and then it's not really doing anything for me like this is just basically a body weight squat right now so let's head back inside so yeah that's basically kind of how it is with working out with it there are definitely some solid movements that you can get in with it it's just those main big compound movements that i thought i was going to be able to do I couldn't do. So really quickly, let me just run through all of your options. Okay, they have the original, the light, which is just a lighter bow. I think it doesn't support as much resistance. And then the travel, which is the one that I have that breaks down into three parts. With that, <laughs> you can add bundles. The basic one is going to come with the bow, the carry bag, the light resistance bands, and then the small barbell pad. And then you can add on from there. So then they have heavy, ultra, and total. I have the total and I don't recommend it. If you do the total, it brings the price up from $250 to $400. And it's not really worth it in my opinion. This is a solid piece of equipment and I understand why it's expensive, but I would not invest $400 into resistance bands that I can't even get onto the bow. Like I literally, as you saw, I physically cannot get it onto the bow. Like the 90 ones, not happening sister, okay? Pros to it is that you can still train resistance anywhere you go if you want to take your workouts outside of the gym, you can do that. If you're traveling, you can still have resistance training and there are still a lot of great movements that you can get in. And uh, Gorilla Bow does give you workout ideas if you're struggling to think of some. So that's a plus sign for you. The bow is extremely durable. The bands are really durable. Nothing, I'm not scared of anything breaking and so we're all good there. Downside is that you can't really get it onto your back as you saw. It is a little bit pricey, but if you are interested in buying it, I do have a code. I'm honestly not sure if it's still active, but it's code Savannah G underscore. So I'll put it right here, code Savannah G underscore if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself. It doesn't support me at all. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's just a code for you to get 10% off and that's it. So feel free to use it if it's still working. <laughs> so there's Gorilla Bow in a nutshell. Overall, really awesome idea. I love the idea. I love the idea of fitness on the go or fitness outside because sometimes you just don't want to be in a sweaty gym, okay? I get it. If you're interested in taking your workouts outside, might be it for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you stayed all the way to the end. And I hope that you have a beautiful day.